Well, we seem to be live. For now. Can't promise the quality because I'm using a different OBS and I haven't used it in a while. How about that? Sound is good. Voice is good. Sounds five by five. All right. Well, it's <laughs> this is this is going to be the hack and slash stream, I suppose. All right. Well, hello everyone. Sorry for all the missed messages and the technical difficulties and all that other jazz. So we're just going to get into it. Welcome to Jamaica. Hope everyone is well. I am a bit frustrated, but we're getting through it. Why is that not doing its thing? There we go. Long clear. Music is low, but no issue. Yeah. Not worried about Lucky Egg. I, I've got a burrito. Does that count? Um, so yeah, we're doing Jamaica. Never, never flew here before. And I know I said a lot of the descriptions stated a Savage Cub, but I'm in an L-19 because I don't think the L-19 gets enough love. And I really enjoy the L-19. It's a good little airplane. If there's any issues, uh, I do apologize, you know, stuttering and all that stuff. It's, <laughs> like I said, this is this is the hack and slash stream today, apparently. Happy Tuesday! So, yeah, there's that. So, boy, it's been a, it was... Today was going okay, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, the OBS was just like, no. So I think the issue is actually OBS was just causing problems, uh, well, Streamlabs OBS anyway, so I'm using regular OBS. So, yeah, we're, we're going to, we, we're, we're going to fly, and we're going to fly over Jamaica and listen to steel drums, and we're not going to fly very high because flying high is, well... We're gonna have fun. We're, we're gonna do the low end fast as we can kind of stuff. I did a leg of this last night in VR in the Savage Cub and this is gonna be fun. Yo, forgive me if I kind of just ch cut to the chase today cause I just, I wanna get flying and I wanna have a stream. Woo! Trim. That is why you set the trim before you take off. There's a glum tapestry. So, hello to Ed and Catbat and Bad Dog and Murphy and Ben and Draco's here. Merlin Flyer's here. If I missed you, I'm sorry. It's been... It's been a moment. <laughs> it's It's been a thing today. So we're just flying the good old L-19 because it doesn't get enough love. Dougal's here. Ed's here. Well, this is a new problem because Flight Sim was working without Streamlabs OBS up, but running it with Streamlabs OBS wasn't working, and it's now working with OBS at least uh, version 25.0.8 so there's that so uh, watching while I'm getting an oil change well that sounds exciting so yeah so we're gonna get a, go ahead and get on course because we got some flying to do now the destination for the flight today 
isn't really that far from the origin, but we're going to explore the island because we can do that. So, the idea is we're flying. Well, we got to get over this way. We're going to basically be flying at treetop level because it's fun. And with. So, with the last half an hour or so being what it's been, fun's fun, and I need fun. Uh, so, I'm not on JoinFS because I was trying to eliminate problems. Uh, turns out JoinFS wasn't. I'm not running Sim Toolkit Pro. Um, so, it's, it's the hack and slash. It's definitely the hack and slash stream today. Hope everyone's well. Welcome to Tuesday. Hope everyone's well. I'm doing better now that I've, you know, actually streaming and flying. So yeah, fun times. Yeah, it's it's definitely I think it, it's definitely I think I think it's it, I think it's has to do with my issue today was Streamlabs OBS for whatever reason um, can't say that it's ever been a bad program but it's certainly caused its fair share of issues um, at least recently so. I'm just going to focus on what's going well, and what's going well is we're flying. Let's see, we'll turn the landing on, strobe on, nav on. Whoa. Trees. If we're not cleaning out twigs and branches and leaves out of the landing gear, we weren't flying low enough. Uh... I have a lot of uncertainty right now because I didn't exactly have a lot of time to test things out, but I've... With the issues that I had yesterday, doing a clean wipe, things with Flight Sim itself seem to have sorted out, um, for the most part, um, that I can tell anyway. I haven't exactly done a lot of testing. Uh, however, uh, the issue today seems to have stemmed from Streamlabs OBS. So there's one kind of issue sorted maybe probably i don't know try not to think too much about it right now cuz it's flying time and i'm just happy to be flying and streaming so yeah the black box simulations l19 it's a good little aircraft is it's not like I wouldn't exactly put it in the category of being the highest quality add-on, but it's definitely fun. I, I, I like flying it. It's a fun little airplane. It does what it does, and it does it as well as it can. So, just kind of treating it at treating it for what it what it is, and I enjoy it, and I think more people should enjoy it. 
and it's a worthy little aircraft to buy, in my opinion. Yes. And that's not to say that Black Box couldn't probably, in the future, update the textures and kind of get them up to, up to that kind of level. But, you know, A, give them time, and B, I'm still happy with it the way it is. Scotland 737 Projects in the chat. Good evening to you. Didn't even get to do my normal intro. It's like, I barely got into Flight Simulator and then problems. <laughs> oh well. Tis what it is. So yeah, Jamaica. Nice place to... Seems like a nice place to fly and I looked out the window and this morning when I woke up, saw that it had snowed and decided, yeah, I made a good choice in flying somewhere where it's nice and warm. Uh, we're going to skip that song. Definitely not going to be the smoothest visuals today, but that's just because I have <laughs> using a program I haven't used in forever. There's Merlin Flyer, We've got Commandant Motley, USA PR1, Dougal's here, Catbat, Glum Tapestry, uh, Dreadfan, Rad Pilot Randy, there's Poppy, Papa Joe B, and I can't, I think that's Bombasso, who is that? Baron's Co. And Agigna. Poppy, if you're watching the stream, I wouldn't mind if you either kept your distance or found something smaller to fly in. Uh, no, I am on Scattered Clouds, Dougal. Uh, if OBS doesn't work good for you, you can use Radeon software to stream. I believe the short cover is alt. That's what I use and can do most of it. Right on. Yeah, it was... Barranco? my apologies I could couldn't really fully see the name tag so I had incomplete information so I apologize uh, yeah Ryan I'll, I'll this was a quick solution just to be able to stream in general uh -huh. uh, just because I knew I had it I knew I knew how to use it and could get it up fairly quickly There's Catbat in one of the Cubs. I think it's the Savage. Definitely one of the less serious streams that I... Not that... My streams are typically serious in general, but definitely in the more fun end of the spectrum. Without doing anything crazy, wacky, or anything like that, but still having some bush flying fun in a very warm area.
Goblin is in the Savage Cup. That's a mountain. And when I did the leg last night, I was in VR, and holy cow, flying this slow, so much fun. You're really able to get that feeling that you're flying right on the deck. We'll stick close to the mountain because Gikmas don't like mountains. So yeah, kind of, it's been a day, or well, it's been, been an hour, <laughs> hasn't even been a day fully, but we're, we're, we've made it to Tuesday, and Monday, we can, other outside of Murph's stream, we can forget about Monday. Today was going a little better, and now it's going okay. And we can we can have fun now. Uh, how big of a performance hit do you take with VR? Been thinking about getting a VR headset, but want frame rate. I'm run, uh, in. If you get your settings right and get your uh, both in the sim and for the headset, you can get a nice smooth experience um with, with vr it's more about smooth than it is having uh good graphics per se um mine i probably couldn't make videos or stream it just because i have a kind of a lower end ish uh gp uh cpu but I run the Rift S, and I can fly on Rift S with decent settings, because uh, without VR, I'm running medium to high settings with maybe one or two ticked on Ultra, and I can still run VR and, and get a smooth experience out of it. Leg 9 of the Tour of Asia, Yunnan to Taiwan. Nice. Poppy, if you wouldn't mind, if you're watching the stream, either go away or fly something smaller. That's the second time I've had to ask. Let's go. <laughs> Good evening, Kingsman. Good to see you. Oh, trim, trim, low. Yeah, low and slow. So uh, we're going to back off the throttle a little bit. We're just going to look low. Good evening from Michigan. Roger that, Kingsman. Look forward to seeing you in the skies over Jamaica. We've got the rum on the ready. Just keeping the view high enough to see the tree line. We may make a skip a couple of uh, legs just to make up for the delay of start. I guess in football we would have had it. This would have been a delayed uh, delay of game. Penalty for a f and or a false start.
And by, I mean American football, not football, football. Ben McClure is on Twitch now. Or was he before? I don't remember. It's been a day. It's it's a fun uh, altitude to fly at. That's for sure. Switch to the dark side. <laughs> Twitch side, best side. I was definitely flying with some danger zone action last night when I was doing this, testing out this leg. Don't mind her, she's confused. Some more Days of Thunder. Or some dangerous music. Would like to put out a shout out to Corky76 and WB1990 for the follows earlier today. Much appreciated. Thankful for everyone for being patient and coming along for the ride. We'll have mimosas at the final destination. I may actually have to break out the Captain Morgan. trees This is awesome. I can't see where I'm going, but it, that's just an added challenge. But someone do warn me if I'm about to hit something.
Roger that, Kingsman. There's Dreadfan flying oh so dangerously. So that was a fun song. Sometimes you just have to have fun with flying. Nice. So this is our first waypoint, MKNA. Glad you enjoying it, Kingsman. From MKNA, we're going to be going to MKTP. There's Glum. Um, Houston, I've got a problem. You know, fuel is a wonderful thing, and it's really important to keep the engine full of fuel. We lived. We didn't crash. We lived. It certainly was, and it caught me off guard because I'm going, ah, yeah, we'll be fine for the salsa. Wait a minute. I'm slowing down. The engine got really quiet. What's going on? Uh... Uh, oh, I need to switch tanks. <laughs> I was I was half expecting it to to refire right after I uh, hit the or uh, switch the tanks and then it didn't fire. I'm like, um, um, oh, starter, and whew, saved it. I'm I'm a dangerous flyer. I'm telling you. So we're just giving MKNA a little bit of a wide berth for a minute. There we go. So we're going to do a little bit of cheaty cheat and just fill our tanks. Twenty gallons. Well, twenty and a half. Did I bring the excitement or did I bring the excitement? <laughs> Time and weather 
didn't set off with the time, but it's uh, we're basically using live time. So just after four in the evening on scattered clouds. Uh, we are on the East USA server. Uh, I do see you though, so we may just be a little further ahead to your east. Wow, uh, that button's real sensitive. There's Bad Dog. Or to the right there. We're getting too high. Dive! Dive!
course, the high, the the highlighting jet of that uh, movie was the F-16. Fun fact about the F-16, its official name is the F-16 Fighting Falcon, but nobody ever calls it that. It's the X F-15 Viper. Nice, Ben. It's a good little airplane. I barely fit in it. <laughs> yeah, I might skip that one. These poor, poor people of Jamaica are getting buzzed by angry bees. And as the reminder says, don't forget to drink some water. Water's important. Tree. Yeah, I wiped my head off. <laughs> I've done that a time or two. Then I finally got high enough to where the wings basically just want to chop my head off. Because it started off, I would bang my forehead, and then it was just the neck. And I was just like, I've got to learn to duck. And then went under the wing, not stand up very quickly. Next airport is uh, Mike Kilo Tango Papa. Mike Tango, uh, Mike Kilo Tango Papa. This song's dangerous. Like we either got a Waco or a Pitts with WB nineteen ninety. So we're def basically aiming for Commandant Mutley. Let's get this one a little more relaxed music. That's a treat. Ooh, this is a good song. You, ha you have to appreciate a good saxophone playing. Oh, 
I've got a good eye of keeping on my fuel now, this time around. So we're going to go ahead and switch tanks, please. Thank you. So I believe we're coming up, should be coming up soon to our first stop. Magic Triple Eight is in. Good evening to you. Hope you're well. We're doing some low flying over Jamaica, somewhere where it's nice and warm. I see Magic Triple Eight on the screen now. Yep, everybody's still with us. the rare field. Well, that just means we have to, you know, fly below the tree line. Up we go, over the trees. Mr. Arcus is now following on, over on Twitch. Many thanks. Do greatly appreciate the follow. I do apologize for the kind of stuttery. Uh, I'm using a version of OBS I haven't used in a while. And need to do some playing around with it.
turn that down just a wee bit more. Want you guys to be able to hear the music, but uh, not so loud that it's making me go deaf. Ooh, this is a good one. There's Magic Triple Eight up the lar. There's Dreadfan now in a caravan. I see Kingsman and Commandant Motley. So we're definitely getting close to the airfield. up and over. And I'm telling you, flying at this level in VR, you even at these speeds, you get a sense of you're you're really moving. Up and over the trees. Posture, my posture sucks. Oh, my posture is not good. I hate it when the thing does a thing, but I didn't see the thing directly. I saw it in the corner of my eye, so I don't know what the thing was. And it's in OBS, so I don't know what it was. And now I have a concern. Seem to be in a city, a port city. Has anybody ever been to Jamaica? It's definitely a place that seems nice, and I've heard that. Jamaica's nice, just don't go outside of the touristy areas. Oh, it's Marcus. Now I get it. Ha! Uh, this is awesome in the wild. I bet. I haven't heard. I mean, I can't think of anything that's been bad in the Waco other than icing. And even at that, between VR and just moving the camera around, you just look outside the window. And go. Yep. There we go. So we're reaching our first stop. We're going to check out the runway before we land.
because we got to know what we're landing on before we actually land on it. So here be the ear perk. I'm going to do a basically an air show pass. And if you'll allow me to get down first so I can, well, there's the beacon in the next block. We'll go ahead and make a landing. No worries, Seamus. Glad you see you. Um. Well, found a building. What's going on? What'd you do, Thrittle? There we are. So I might as well just park it here. Get in the drone. So runway three two open for landings. That was not my most grateful or grace graceful, that's the word of landings that I've ever had. Hide me for a minute.
Goblin, I'm in the Savage Carbon, Big Wheels, U.S. Army, D-Day, Stratus, very short landing. Nice. John Mathers, how you doing? Good to see you. All right, so trim neutral. We're going to fill up while we're on the ground. We're going to rotate that out a little bit. Uh, and flaps go up. And parking brake release. It really does. Um, and even in VR, uh, it's, you know, especially with the, the Rift S and maybe a little slightly you know, downgraded general visuals, you know, the L19 is, is perfectly reasonable. Uh, I would love to see them, you know, massage it a little more, get a little better textures on there. But other than that, it's fine. I'd love to see more people put out liveries for it. Um, you know, if I could have a, if I had a Colonel Fork livery for this, it'd be amazing. Got to run. Have fun. Well, thanks for flying along with us. Hope you have a good evening. And hope to catch you the next stream and on the Discord channel. Server. Thingamabob. Doohickey. We'll circle the field a little bit, let everybody get airborne. I uh, take the car to the garage, stop by the you have a good one, Seamus. Good to see you. Hope you take care. We'll catch you on the discords and so on. Pardon me, wow, that was weird. All right, so we're gonna get on our way moseying.
Uh, I ha it, it's I'm not having frame hits in the sim. It's just I haven't tuned the the broadcasting software to flight sim. Um, I haven't used it since my old computer. Uh, so it's just it's either my old computer or just in almost a year. So it's just I haven't tuned the program yet. Uh oh. Power cuts aren't good. I had not seen this on my plane. On the nose, there's an eagle carrying a machine. Nice. All right, enough playing around with buttons. Yeah, I forget my buddy. One of my buddies was telling me about it, and I looked it up and found out it was true. So back during the unpleasant unpleasantness of the forties, nineteen forties, uh, there there are these landing ships uh, called an LST, uh, landing ship tank. So they're pretty beefy sized boats. And someone had the brilliant idea to take one of them and convert it into a makeshift aircraft carrier of sorts. It was designed mostly to carry the little observation planes, the uh, L4 Grasshopper. But it was, for all intents and purposes, an aircraft carrier. So I thought that was pretty much it. was like, nah, LST 903. Three? I forget the name of it, but it was, it was just, it was interesting. A little kind of, see, aircraft carriers are, are kind of a wonderful thing uh, because they bridge the gap be between maritime and aviation. So you can you can have a lot of fun, you know, kind of talking to people about, you know talking to boat people about planes and boat boat people can have fun talking about planes with plane people when it comes to aircraft carriers so that's kind of fun look at the state of that now we gotta get over this ridge We're at max T. There's 89 miles an hour. Oh. Pulled it off.
This is neat. <laughs> uh, I'll admit, when I made the flight plan, A, I didn't calculate in technical problems, but B, I was trying to avoid flying over the mountains, and now I'm kind of glad that I'm flying in the mountains, so it all kind of worked out for the better anyway, because look at this. Don't look, Murphy, there's clouds. Uh, let's see, air temp still in the green. I don't necessarily mean a whole lot. Yeah, no, it's this is nuts. <laughs> nuts in the best possible way. cloud. Gives you a nice shadow of the uh, airplane on the prop disc though. And hey, no icing. So there's that. And that's kind of one of the reasons that I picked Jamaica, because it's just like, it's not somewhere I've never flown before. So I really don't know the terrain. I looked at, I had, I mean, I saw the, some of the topography maps, but, you know, that doesn't necessarily, it's not, it, it doesn't give you the wow factor of, holy crap, that looks amazing. And holy crap, that looks amazing. So I'm thoroughly glad that I made the decision to fly over in this neck of the woods because holy cow, that looks amazing. JS so not that one. Eh. Did you hit it when you get something stuck in your eye? Unwanted entanglements. So we're heading towards where Bad Monk, Bad Dog is. Although now it's saying he's going below sea level. Oh, nope, there he went. <gasps> Goodness. Trying to get back low. <laughs> it's the first I've been called Colorado, but I accept. I'm doing well, sexy spaghettios. How are you? It's okay. It's okay. I've been called far worse. <laughs> in my lifetime so no worries about autocorrect we all know the struggles of autocorrect hope you're well saw you on brazenhead stream last night he was playing sea of thieves we're flying here in jamaica aruba 
It just make me. Ooh. I wanna take to Kokomo. Yeah, it, I looked out my window today and, well, last night I was trying to come up with a flight plan for today because I have this nasty habit of planning at the last minute. And I decided, eh, we'll go to Jamaica because, you know, why not? I've never been there before, real life or otherwise. And made a flight plan, went through it, got up this morning, look out the window, there's snow. It's, and just more snow. And decided that, you know what? I'm glad that we're going to be flying somewhere a little bit warmer. Give those warm feelings. Let's look at this airport, which is a waypoint. Oh, just a tiny little airport. Hello. So we'll hit the deck. Jamaica is a. Oh, let's see how we dump. We. Yeah. Snow's great. Uh, Jamaica is a first for me, and I didn't expect scenery like this neat. Yeah, absolutely. Magic has to run for dinner. Glad you enjoyed the flight as long as you were able to. You enjoy the socks off of your dinner. And we'll catch you on Discord and the next stream for sure. Look at the state of that. I'm like Murphy 2. Oh dear. Um, Ma'am, you seem to be having some problems. Why are you sitting in the baggage compartment? And the roll bars are coming out of her eyes. Ma'am, you should really get that looked at. Things that make you go, hmm. There's the fireflies. And we seem to have shake the Gikna. So, huzzah. Now, I feel like, you know, tourist, uh, well, either travel agencies or tourist agencies, you know, could definitely, you know, do some business and involve flight sim or even flight sim content creators. Because with, with the scenery the way it is, you could almost, you know, do a virtual flyover and be like, you know, this looks fantastic. Wait until you see the real version. And that, you know, granted, some of that would require the world unpleasantness kind of subsiding. So it's kind of got to wait. But when it does, man, especially as flight service, we, we've, we've all been accumulating. I want to go here. I want to go here. I want to go here. I want to go here because it just looks so good. So uh, this looks like it would be really fun to play. My dad and nice. Yeah, no, flight sim is fantastic. It's very relaxing. Uh, this is, <laughs> I say relaxing, and we're flying at low level and you know playing dangerous music and so on. Uh, it's a huge relaxing thing. Um, and you know, with the world being in the state that it's in not being able to travel, it, it's been an outlet for those of us to be like, hey, I want to visit here, or hey, I want to visit there. And, you know, giving a, giving us an avenue to explore the world without leaving home. And, you know, with the visuals that this iteration of the film has been producing, it's never looked better. And, you know, because it uses the Bing satellite imagery, it uses an AI to place buildings in the correct places, and third-party developers are making new airplanes and new sceneries 
to to enhance what's already there but the lighting and the clouds and it's just like it's absolutely stunning you know being able to explore a world that we currently can't and you know it's it's brought people from around the world together um you know because uh the the fireflies you know i've referenced the fireflies and the the little community that we have you know eked out for ourselves is just it's a fantastic little community and i just remembered that i should probably check on my fuel now go ahead and switch tanks I don't need another episode of Colonel Fork forgot to switch tanks and ran out of gas. But you gotta admit, it was a nice recovery. We didn't crash. Almost did. <laughs> almost. What's an old saying? Uh, almost only counts with horseshoes and hand grenades. I get lost sometimes just looking at the world and going, man, it sure is pretty. It certainly is, Kingsman. And, and that's another reason why I wanted, I, I originally was going to fly the Savage Cub. I like the Savage Cub, don't get me wrong. It's a fun little airplane. But I wanted to pick something that was slow, but good, you know, had decent visibility and something to enjoy the visuals. Uh, Bath, if that is Mike Kilo Bravo Sierra, then yes. I forgot the little thing that I wrote up. So it's entirely plausible. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> well, let's see. E. Uh, bath, bath, bath. No, we're not. We're we're not landing at bath. We kind of went off course. Uh. Try to trim down the flight plan to uh, accommodate for my technical problems early on. Sorry. Uh, going over the hills, then through the clouds. Nice. Uh, when I was in high school, we got to go on a field trip to the Air Force Base. And we all got to try the flight sim, and it was only nice. Yeah, I. This is this is definitely a flight plan to revisit. Um, I just had severe technical difficulties right at the beginning, um, so as for the sake of time, I cut the flight plan a little bit. I apologize for not making that clear. Sorry, but we'll we'll definitely revisit this. And the Air Force simulators are they're no joke. Um, but yeah, no, Flight Sim, if you have any interest in it, it's, it's never been more accessible. You can, you can fly with an Xbox controller if you want, or, you know, without having the need to get more sophisticated peripherals. I don't know if I used enough big words, um, but no, it's just, it's, it's so fun and it's so relaxing too. Seamless multiplayer, if you want it. Uh, easy ease of access, or access, and you, you niche yourself out with the right community, and it's just it's a fantastic experience.
There's Kedmo. Good to see you, my friend. I'm an HP laptop and Xbox controller. Nice. Yeah, and it's it's it, it, yeah, it's just never been so easy to get into flight sim. Whether you, you know, whether you're an experienced real world pilot or you know, never picked up a, you know, never even seen an airplane in real life. It's easy to get into, learn the basics, and get rolling. It's it's fantastic. It's not to say that there aren't issues from time to time with it, but realistically, that's just about any piece of software. <laughs> Good to know, Noel. That's that's an important piece of information right there. Let's look at the state of that. Yeah, you know, and and this is just seamless multiplayer from people all over the world. Yep. Sounds good, Kevmo. I saw you on the saw your name tag. We'll be there momentarily. Just kind of, we did the low level flying in the first leg. This run, we're kind of going. A little higher and enjoying the overall scenery. No worries, Kingsman. And then again, it just ease of access is so easy. It's it's awesome. You know, flight, flight sim is one of those things where it can be as complicated or as simple as you want it to be, and it, that's that's what makes it great, in my opinion. You know, the likes of X Plane, it's it seems without having a direct experience, it seems more technical and a bit more complicated than Microsoft Flight Sim is. Just in, it's not as accessible. And to get the most out of it, you know, it's, it's a lot more complicated. Whereas this MSFS, it's it's real simple. There, that's it's simple, it's accessible, and it's just fantastic. And music's making it sound like the stream's just starting. No, 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 no. Eh, no. No. There we go. I'm not the best DJ. I just forgot about the time. Good night, all. Lovely choice tonight. Glad you enjoyed as long as you could, Noel. Happy to have you along, and you take care of yourself, and have a great night. We'll catch you on Discord and the next stream. Uh, do you think they'll have VR ready to plug into the computer? Uh, well, I've been flying in VR. Uh, all you need is a headset. Get your settings dialed in. You know, anyone from the Firefly community can help. Uh, Murph helped me get mine set up, and it's fantastic. Let's see, Bad Dog using the Logitech Flight Multi-Panel for the first time. Great piece of kit. I, I recently uh, uh, procured a... Uh, the Logitech radio panel, which I forgot to turn on. And let me tell you, the little radio panel is probably the best 
Logitech panel that I've ever had, and because I had the one with the gear, the, the 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 switch panel, and it was great. But once I got the honeycomb, I didn't need it, and it's been kind of collecting dust in the corner somewhere. Now, where is this airfield? Where, oh, where is this airport? Is it down there? Practically over the airport. Where, where is it? It's right off the nose. Ah, there we are. If it were a snake, it would have bit me. So this is our next to last stop. I'll pull the nose up, drop some airspeed. Two notches of flaps right off the bat. Kind of pulling the brakes. There's John E. Put out the last notch of flaps just for the sake of it. Now if there's one downside to the L19, it's that bar right down the middle of the windscreen. No worries, Fly Darren. I appreciate the red stripe. Glad you're along, at least in the chat. So we're landing on runway 27. I'll get down. And then I'll get situated for capturing all of you guys landing. And that's what you call a steep approach. And a much better landing than the last one. Alright, parking brake on. So this is why you thought I was ditching into the sea earlier. <laughs> what better way to get a glimpse at the sea, to, ch to check out the sea, than to get right up and close? So runway 27 is cleared for landing. Landings. There's Cat Bat in. There's WB nineteen ninety. Well done. Chippy Arnold's in. Nicely done. All right. Oh, we're going to. 
There we go. It's almost like nothing's ever changed. Druid is in, followed very closely by Papa Joe. Nicely done by the both of you. Well, the, I, if I remember correctly, the multi-panel is the one with the autopilot settings, the flap lever. Yeah, the autopilot settings and the flap lever. Uh, the switch panel is nice because it gives you the cow flaps, pitot heat, the lights, uh, gear lever, uh, and that sort of thing. So we'll go ahead and uh, and then I have also the radio panel. That to me, the radio panel is probably my favorite one. Uh, just because sometimes you get airplanes that have weird radio systems, uh, third party ones, and having the radio panel just eliminates the the headache out of figuring out, okay, where's the radio? How do I set the radio? I can't figure the radio out. It's just all right in front of you. Short of getting something like a, uh, basically a replica GNS 530, which is a little on the spectrum of overkill, in my opinion, and flaps are not all the way up. Now they are. So we're doing a left hand pattern, but mind the hill. So if you haven't picked up the L19, it does get my recommendation to pick it up because it's a ton of fun. It may not necessarily be the most refined of, it's it's not on a Caro, Caronado level of refinement, but I personally still think it's worth it. Maybe catch it on sale sometime, but in a general sense, I would definitely recommend picking it up. You get the standard model, which is this. You get uh, a, a version with Tundra tires. And then you also get a version that has uh, floats, amphibious floats. I can definitely see that as a benefit, especially in the um, in the Mooney, because the Mooney's great, but I hate the little itty bitty knob for the altitude and vertical speed.
There I am wandering again, off course. And and you, it's the the L nineteen that's comparable to flying the the Waco, although I think the ground ground handling is a little easier. It has a lower horsepower engine than the the Waco does. Um, it's forgiving like a 152 or the 172. It's it's the speed of the 152 with the forgiveness of a 172, but it's a tailwheel. You can open the windows. You can open the door. I can imagine. Uh, it was definitely lower on my list of lower on my list of peripherals because I I try to fly by hand as much as possible and especially in VR it's such it's much more of a rewarding experience to fly by hand. Um, but I can definitely see its benefit because you know like. The how the systems are the air, the autopilot systems are so different on like the Mooney compared to the Seminole compute compared to the 182 compared to the default systems and having one standard way to do things at least takes a headache of not having to fiddle with okay where's the right knob that I should be using and blah 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 it just takes a lot of the guesswork out of it, which is nice and convenient, which is kind of similar to why I got the radio panel, because it's so much easier to just figure out, okay, I've got my comms, I could just turn a knob and get to this. You know, it, it just makes life a whole lot easier. And especially with me, because I play around with, you know, converting some FSX aircraft into flight sim 2020 uh gauges don't work i haven't really experimented with getting them to work so if i'm flying around like if on our join us join fs server if i were to fly it around and i'm given a squat code i have no way to enter it in outside of using the radio panel so it, they definitely have a a good purpose and a good use Getting her trimmed out. Look at that. And we are on live time. Which is just epic. absolutely beautiful scenery it, it absolutely is a beautiful sunset even though there's a cloud now Uh, very snowy right at the minute. It's been snowing all day. And apparently my dad's home now. Uh, 
cold. I think the temperature is currently... Oh, 29 degrees Fahrenheit. Not sure what that converts to in Celsius, so it's it's definitely not warm. So uh, we had a little snow, but but mostly it, yeah. I don't know. Snow's nice from time to time, outside of dealing with snow. shoveling and salt and all that other fun stuff. People that forget how to drive in the snow. Yeah, because you'd think that living in a place where it snows you know, every year around this time of year that people would remember how to drive in the snow. But they forget. You get start getting flakes and everybody's like, I don't remember how to drive in the snow, even though it's only been eight months since we did it last. What can you do? Look at that. As Chippy flies off into the sunset. I wonder if we can get rid of the lady in the baggage compartment. Hey, there she went. We fixed her wagon. The issue is kids want to go out and play in the snow, but with what's going on in the world... Yeah, it's, it's a tricky situation. Right. We'll get through it. The world always does. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. That's just how we roll. You know, and, and with not getting too far into the world being the world right now, it's definitely a silver lining to think of the fact that despite everything, despite it all, if it wasn't for us being locked in and into flight sim like we are, we, we may know the fireflies and may, may never have developed into what they are. And, you know, so there, there are good things that have come out of it. And it's all about having the attitude of finding that silver lining, being thankful for what we do have and just maintaining that that sense of positivity positive thinking you know that's definitely what i've been holding on to and it's paid off you know the meaning all of you guys meaning the fireflies and murphy and and all that it's been I, I wouldn't trade it for anything. I wish I found a better way to do it. But, you know, it is what it is.
Well, I'm, I'm glad I can help provide that outlet, and I'm, I'm glad Murph provides that outlet for me as well. And, you know, it's just, <laughs> although yesterday was a challenge. Yesterday was a huge challenge. Um, but, you know, having the outlet and just the escape from all the negative that's going on in the world and, you know, not not to, you know, I, I don't mean to diminish, you know, the other countries' problems because every country has their own problems outside of the current unpleasantness. But here in the U.S., it's been, it's been a challenge um, in a lot of different ways. On top of a... And on top of a different challenge and so it's been been great to have that escape and to find friends and you know kind of make an online family in our little corner of the global landscape as it were as I continue to wonder so we're about over our last waypoint on our route to our last stop and me being curious there's a couple of windmills I'd like to see the airport but I don't see the airport partially because of the sun That can't be the airport right there. That might be the airport. Not the one we're landing at, mind you, but... Uh, yeah, that's it. So, be glad we're not landing there. Because that's a... That's a challenge in, in a half. That's, it's not even an airstrip, it's somebody's backyard. It's like somebody just up and paved their backyard and said, yeah, planes can land here. Why not? Ooh. Excuse me, I'm Femmets into this flying malarkey, and from a kneeling start, I am now up and running thanks to you and Murph and the Fireflies. Well, I'm glad. You know, and we're always happy to help out. You know, because, you know, my, my philosophy has always been, you know, the more the merrier. You know, as, as long as you're not acting, you know, acting a fool... You know, contrary to, you know, the, you're not being a gigna, essentially, and most everybody, you know, you get the odd one or two, two here and there, but the more people that, to get into it, and get into the hobby, the, the greater, and especially with Flight Sim as it is now, is, it's just so much, brings so much joy to, to share flight, even virtually, with, with people, and it's, it's, it's fantastic. And I really wish that my chair wasn't fake leather and I wish it were cloth.
it's important to get a good chair especially when you're gonna be sitting in it for hours and hours and hours and hours you know if you get a get a chair and you're not gonna be in it you know all the time you know, more than you know a couple hours here and there oh, that looks like it used to be an airport you know you can you don't necessarily have to spend a whole lot of money on a chair but when you when you start doing it for you know eight eight hours or more at a time yeah, it's worth spending some money to get a decent chair uh well I mean if if my life were dependent on it I would if I could avoid it I would definitely rather avoid it You know, and, and finding Murph and getting involved with the Fireflies, even before the Fireflies were the Fireflies, really invigorated me and, and my inherent passion for aviation and lead about a week or so leading up to the re release of this, uh... You know, the sim itself was an inspiration for me to, you know, really crack on to getting into streaming more. And not to be punny or anything, but it's really been taken off. And, you know, I have a lot of people to thank for that. I, I'm, I'm just a dude sitting in front of a computer screen and a camera. And, you know, y'all y'all make this happen. Since five months, I logged 158 yeah, I, I've logged more hours in this than I, A, care to admit, and B, than the default logbook shows. And I'm starting to push 400 hours, I think, maybe. It's a lot. I'm over... I'm over 300 hours. I know that. I think I'm closer to about 350. But it's such such a great experience. You know, and I think to some degree the experience or the 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 people that have been in flight sims for years and years and years and really got into X plane and whatever. I think to some degree we've gotten or they well I say we because I've been involved with flight sim since flight sim night for Windows ninety five. Um, I think we kind of got spoiled a little bit because there's such a distance. Uh, uh, such a uh, time gap between FSX and this and even with the latest versions of X-Plane it's been you know we've developed third party developers have had plenty of time to get into really push the limits of you know what can be made and what you know what's available out there for flight sims and now with this, there's a there's a bit of an engineering curve, and the SDK isn't fully developed, and you know, so we've kind of gotten used to a certain level of quality and add-ons, and I think I think some of us need to dial it back a little bit and temper expectations. So you're, those of us that are experienced, you know, a lot of people are you know dumping on the DC Designs F15. Don't get me wrong, it has its issues, and whatnot and the develop I, you know, I've sent a message to the developer earlier today with some of my cons my thoughts and he's open to constructive criticism and it's uh, it's about the constructive part not just dumping on it and I think that's important for us to, to bear in mind oh boy
And if you're still watching, I, I'll give this a more in-depth read shortly after the stream, but it looks like things are looking good. I'll definitely... Yeah, I will definitely be, I'll read that in depth, Ed. Right. There's no better than the, what? Better than a nice kipper tie. Oh, I need to up myself on English slang. Oh, we're close. Well, oh, there we go. Look at this. Skimming the clouds in an L19 over Jamaica at sunset. It's hard to beat that, folks. Absolutely stunning. Well, it looks pretty. We're, we're like... I mean, granted, Murphy has the has the helmet, no, the fly helmet, but it's 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 like a, a bug to a zapper. It's just it's so beautiful. That, and when you look backwards, it looks fantastic on the clouds. No, kind of gives a nice backlighting.
look at that. I was on fun. Hewlett Packard. Remember Compaq? I remember Compaq. And then they got bought by HP. So we're going to make a straight in. It looks like Chippy has beat us in. We're going to do a straight in from this way. I'll. There's Papa Joe. I'll get down first so I can get turned around. Yeah, it's funny you say that. I've never had a problem with compact computers. Granted, I, it's been age, I think last one I had was maybe running XP or Vista. Gosh, those were the days. <laughs> Remembers XP. That was great. Now I build my own computers. I buy the parts and then throw them together. Ah, uh, here's a thought. About five gallons heavier on the right side than I am on the left. Ah, uh, we need to get gliders in that. Ah, uh, there's a uh, flight sim just to be English, please. FlightSim.to, I believe, has a freeware glider. It's an FSX convert, but is essentially seeming to be popular. Um, there's CatBat. But I've seen it floating around here and there, but there, there's one floating out there. Well, back the old throttle. Neutral on the elevator trim. Let's get that nose up. That's a beautiful looking approach, I'll say that. with some nice saxophone music. Harriers would be fun. Give it time. Give it time and, and all those things will come to fruition. I mean, it, it, it it's almost flabbergasting that it's, The Sims only been out for, what, six months? And we already have a plethora of add-ons, and it's just stunning. Notch of flaps. We're going to really reduce the throttle now. Because we're a little, just, you know, just a little above the glide slope, that's all.
Not the fastest approach. Well, I was gonna, I was gonna read the message anyway. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm getting hungry, so I gotta grab some food. Probably take something for my head directly after stream, but maybe later on, I'll hit you up on Discord. All right. Well, we're really. Not, Losing a whole lot of altitude here. So, idle throttle. We're already at two notches of flaps. All I want to do is descend and land, but this thing just wants to fly. Piano keys, numbers. A little bit of a bounce. Keep around the center line. Idle throttle. Tail on the ground. Yeah, that's probably the best landing I've had in a while. All right, let's get her parked over off to the side. There's the ILS hold short. And we're gonna skip that song. And enter. And positioning ourselves. Ooh, look at that. How's that for a scene? So runway two five is open for landings. There's WB 1990 and Chippy. Cat bats in. And flights have crashed. <laughs> Ain't that just the luck? It was going so well. Oh well. I'm not upset. It is what it is. Oh dear. Didn't take out OBS this time. 
take that issues. Well, sorry for missing the final landings of the evening. But thank you all for flying along and having the chat and just having a whole lot of fun and discussion and whatnot and appreciate you coming along for the ride whether you flew or you just lurked in the chat and or chatted in the chat it's appreciated and i do wish you the very best and until next time be good to each other take care stay safe and we'll catch you next time